Hello students, I welcome you all on the YouTube channel of Analyst IAS. Our today's topic for focus of the day's discussion are the marine protected areas. We will see why in news, highlights of the meeting as a meeting have been happened around these marine protected areas and that is why they are in news. What are marine protected areas? What are the categories of MPAs in India? Then we will see location of some MPAs in India. After that, we will see what are blue credits. These are often mentioned in news. What is convention on biological diversity and what are the sub conventions under it. After that, we have our today's prelims question as well. So we'll start. Why in news? Recently, the fifth international marine protected areas Congress was held in Canada. Canada has the longest maritime or coastline in order to discuss the solutions to address the funding gap of marine protected areas. This meeting is crucial since nations agreed to protect 30% of Earth's land and oceans by 2030 at the 15th Conference of Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity held in 2022. I have given you a video on this COP15 as well. So go through it. There is additional information about this. The impact Congress are a collaborative effort between the International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, and the chosen host country. What are the highlights of the meeting? As many as 70% of MPAs are the underfunded basically. This is the major highlight. A well managed and sufficiently funded MPA can restore good health to vulnerable ecosystems. Impact Fire aims to provide a forum for sharing knowledge success and best practices in an open and respectful environment for exchanging ideas among a diversity of views. The 15th conference of parties to the convention on biological diversity had agreed to protect 30% of the world's ocean and lands by 2030, a goal which have been threatened by the lack of funding of the MPAs. What is our MPA? And marine protected area or MPA is a marine area that offers full or partial protection for the natural resources it contains in order to achieve particular conservation, habitat protection, ecosystem monitoring or fisheries management objectives. Some activities are restricted or outright prohibited within an MPA. Fishing, research and other human activities are not always prohibited under the MPAs. In fact, many MPAs can also be multifunctional. They can be restricted or not as well. In some cases, MPA also provide revenue for countries potentially equal to income that they would have if they were to grant companies permission to the fishers. The MPA network in India has been used as a tool to manage natural marine resources for biodiversity conservation and for the well-being of the people dependent on it and living in that nearby area. Scientific monitoring and traditional observations confirm that depleted natural marine resources are getting restored or pristine ecological conditions have been sustained in well-managed MPAs. What are the categories of MPAs in India? Basically, there are four legal categories of protected areas. The first category, national parks in the centuries have entire area of mangroves, coral reefs, creeks, sea grasses, beds, alga beds, estuaries and lagoons. This is Then there is second category, it includes the islands which have major parts of the marine ecosystem, some parts in the terrestrial ecosystem. For example, Andaman Nicobar can be a good example. Then here Sundarban can be a good example. Then category third A, it includes sandy beaches beyond the in tidal line but occasionally interacting with the seawater. Basically they are somewhat far from the sea but still they interact with the seawater. Now category third B. This includes evergreen or semi evergreen forests of the island. Now what are the MPAs in India? In India there are 33 national parks and wildlife century designated under the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 that make up the country's MPAs. Marine National Park and Marine Century in the Gulf of Kutch form one unit and Bhitar Karnika National Park and Bhitar Kanika Century are an integral part of one MPA. Thus, there are a total of 
31 वन एमपीएज इन इंडिया एमपीएज कवर लेस देन 4.01 पॉइंट ऑफ द टोटल एरिया ऑफ द प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया ऑफ इंडिया ट्राई टू रिमेंबर दिस नाउ दीज आर सम मेराइन प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया ऑफ इंडिया सो दीज आर मेराइन नेशनल पार्क लाइक गल्फ ऑफ कच गल्फ ऑफ मन्नार दैन दीज वन दूर मिडिल बिटन नॉर्थ बिटन रानी झांसी साउथ बिटन दीज आर ही ऑन द अंडमान निकोबार आईलैंड देन यू हैव भीतर करने का सो आफ्टर दैट वी हैव मेनी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज इन द वाइट देन यू हैव दीज कम्युनिटी रिजर्व नो कंजर्वेशन रिजर्व इज वेल लाइक काडा लुंडी दे आर इन ऑरेंज नाउ वट आर द ब्लू क्रेडिट ब्लू क्रेडिट अलाउ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू रीच नेट जीरो एमिशन बाई परचेजिंग कार्बन क्रेडिट equivalent to their emissions what is carbon credit the removal of 1 ton of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere generates one carbon credit i have also given you a detailed video on these carbon credits you can go through the video section the preservation of blue carbon ecosystems like mangroves sea grasses and salt marshes which are known as carbon sinks will result in accumulation of the credits this will further help the efforts of poor and developing countries to control the effects of their emission blue carbon is related to water that is what is blue carbon now what is convention on biological diversity the biodiversity convention or cbd is a multilateral treaty which has its secretariat in montreal canada the united states is the only un member that has not ratified the convention which has been ratified by 196 other countries then there are supplementary agreements the cartagena protocol and the nagoya protocol the cartagena protocol is on biosafety of living modified organisms the nagoya protocol is on access to genetic resources and fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from their utilization what are the goals of this conservation of biodiversity sustainable use of biodiversity equitable distribution of benefits from genetic resources the convention is legally binding on all signatories the ultimate governing body of the cbd is the conference of parties which meets every 2 years and is made up of all the governments that have ratified the agreement india is a party to the convention and ratified it in 1994 now we will come to our today's prelims practice question consider the following statements oceans are considered to be good carbon sinks second carbon that is contained in such ocean sinks is also referred to as blue carbon which of the following statements is are correct try to think about it i'll move on to means then i'll give you the answer or you can type the answer in the comment section as well now we will come to our today's main practice question what are marine protected areas why are they important and what are the challenges associated with it challenges can be many anthropogenic and climate change etc now the answer to this question is c which is both this was all about the today's video and topic stay tuned for the next one have a great day